jumping jacks. I'm going to do it like so. Okay. Warm it up. Mm. Hey guys, that's me from Papa's Remedy Garden. Getting a little cardio in. Staying consistent. 30 day challenge. Day nine. Oh yeah. Exercise is great for your immune system. Yes, it is. Those white blood cells that kill and fights off bacteria, viruses, you name it. Infection. Get those white blood cells circulating faster through the body. How? Exercise. So, helping my body out right now. Yeah. Exercise because I see my future and I see where I want to be. I see how I want to look. I see how I want to feel. Oh, yeah. And I know exercise is important if I'm going to get there. I gotta exercise. A little bit of time, I'm doing it my way. Right now, I'm watching a video and I'm doing it my way, even on video. Even on video. I modify. I can't always do what I see the instructor do. So, I do it my way, the modified way. All right now, we're doing squats. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Using the abs, squeezing the buttocks. Get it in. Oh, yeah. Turn some more height on. Hopefully that helps. All right, let's move on to burpees. I don't do burpees, not yet. But what I will do is come down to the floor and just do like so. sitting there at home, find you a video, right? However long, 10 minutes, five, 20 minutes, and go for it. Whenever you need to break, you break. that I can't do, so I will do what I'm able to do. I don't do Superman's well, so I do a modified. How about that? Okay. Turn around this way, how about that? Get the table. So, opposite leg and arm. PT moves, y'all. Physical therapy. Let's get to this plank. Taking a break.
show y'all what I'm doing. Yep, just showing you. Getting it in. Found me something that I can do. And if I need to modify, I do. Don't be afraid or ashamed to modify. Because you know what? Be proud of yourself. You up and you moving. That's it. We focusing on right now, right here, right now. about this. What y'all know about this, huh? Got my knees bent today. That was 12. rest if you have a video that's doing your rest you need to rest rest if you need to catch up if you like five behind then do the five okay
lymphatic system is saying thank you. We love movement. Oh yes. You're welcome. <laughs> Talk to yourself. Talk through your workout. Do whatever you gotta do. Okay? Jumping rope. It should look like so. But if you feel like you've done enough, walk in place. You can even slow it down more. Take a rest break. Climbers. My. Yes, I do. Like so. I don't do running too much. Not now. Just do it slow. Take a break when I need to. This is how I had to do it in PT. One knee down, the other leg straight. <laughs> I'm gonna try it on this other side too. My 
able to do that move because of my lower back. But I will stay down, send flutter kicks, do in and out. Hold my stun again. Controlling the move. Stay in control, y'all. As much as you can. You can do it. I keep seeing myself where I want to be. As long as I had that vision in front of me, I'm going to work towards it. I keep on working towards it. I'm coming my body. I may not be where I used to be before the accident, but I can improve on my body and make it a better situation. I may not be where I used to be, but I can improve on my body and take it to the next level. Take it to the next level. So whatever level that is, just think up from there. So I may not be where I want to be, but I'm working every day towards getting there. Improvement, progress, a little bit at a time. Okay? Focus on where you're going, not where you've been. Looking back, you can't see forward. Take a glance. Oh, I remember. Nice smile. Once you get to that point, you might cry at first. I remember a time when I couldn't even. It's done. I remember a time when I couldn't even watch people. Excuse me for plopping down. <laughs> I couldn't even watch a person riding a bike up and down the street. I couldn't watch um, people running, jogging, because it hurt knowing that I couldn't do that again. And so when I would go past the gym I used to work out at, I would turn my head because I didn't want to see the people there you know, maybe in the parking lot going into the gym or leaving out. I didn't want them to see me. I, I was embarrassed of myself. You know, I was. Not being conceited or anything, but I just was embarrassed. I was embarrassed. I didn't like what I saw in the mirror. I didn't like I was 30, 40 pounds heavier. Yeah, I'm losing weight and I've lost 20 pounds. I'm down to 200 now. <laughs> um, and I, I didn't like being over 200 pounds. I didn't like being 200 pounds. I didn't like being big and in my body because I, I didn't like the way I looked. I'm not coming down on anybody who's um, heavy set or even if you're overweight. I'm not, I wouldn't dare. But for me, when I saw myself I didn't like what I saw in the mirror. We all look in the mirror, we like certain things and certain things we don't like. It may not even be a weight issue with you. You may be like, oh girl, these eyelashes, eyebrows, I don't care for, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, these roots, I need to get them. So regardless, I, I was embarrassed of myself and I didn't want to hold conversations with people because, you know, with a brain injury, you don't know what's gonna come out. You don't know how it's gonna come out. You know, know how you want to look or sound to people and they're going to be able to tell. I felt they were going to be able to tell that I was different. So I didn't want to show them this beat up version of me. I didn't like it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't like it. And being overweight, having um, problems with my speech, face was bruised up, mouth messed up, you know, having problems holding conversations with people, um, memory issues. It, it was just, I just knew my my injury was going to show. And so I just didn't, I avoided people. I didn't want them to see me with my cane. Um, you know, that's something I had to work on. It's something that was personal, something I had to work on. So that's what I did. 
And so when you see me doing what you see me do now, working out, encouraging you to work out, it took me a long time to get to this point. It took me a long time to be able to even tell my story. You know, it's so much more to it. But I just give little bits at a time. But when I'm speaking, I'm speaking from experience. When I'm coming to you and I'm saying, hey, I was at a very low place, I was. I thought thoughts that I had never thought before and I didn't understand when other people said they thought those thoughts. I, in the future, I'll be telling my story in detail about that. But I just wanna encourage you, see yourself where you wanna be. I always kept that in front of me, what I wanted for my life. I wanted to feel better. I wanted to look better. I've aged <laughs> whew, at least 10, 12 years. I mean, one time someone asked me, you retired, right? I said, dang, dang. And I looked in the mirror and I'm like, well, shoot, I guess I do look like I retired. I'm not near retirement age, not, you know. So I, I um, you know, I just had to deal with different, you know, comments from people and, you know, ask me if my mate was my child yo you just don't know <laughs> what that did to me so but anywho i just kept focused on what i wanted for myself and that's what i'm still doing now so i encourage you to keep focusing on what you want for your life don't give up don't lose focus keep going and it'll be all right one day at a time all right one day at a time all right guys um, I did 12 push-ups on this video. I'm about to break it down the next ones, um, but I'm going to stop this video so that I can have it separate, and I'll see you in the next video. Love your body. Take care of your body. If I don't see you the next video, okay? And remember the answers on the earth.